Hey guys, in this video we will learn to play short sounds using the sound pool class. So create a new android resource directory. Resource type will be raw. And grab any sound file you like. I'll put a downloadable link to these sound files in the description box so you can download it from there or you can use your own sound files. Now prepare the layout for this example. Add a button set with an head to wrap content. Give this an ID of sound one. Text sound one. Add one more button with an head wrap content. ID sound two. Text sound two to write off sound one. Now go to main activity.java file. Create a global object of sound pool class. So before Lollipop, you could instantiate sound pool using the sound pool constructor. But since Lollipop, this way of instantiating sound pool is deprecated. So you will have to use the sound pool builder for the same. So if the device is running on Lollipop or greater versions of Android. Then we will use the newer version to instantiate sound pool. So create a builder of audio attributes. Set content type. Audio attributes dot content type will be music. Set uses audio attributes dot usage will be game so the audio attribute will decide how the sound is going to behave now build this audio attribute builder now create a builder of sound pool set max streams will be playing two streams so we'll pass two here if you don't implement set max streams then it will be set to one by default and set audio attributes pass the audio attributes builder that we created and then build this sound pool builder and if our device is not running on lollipop or greater versions of android then we will instantiate sound pool using the constructor. The first parameter goes is how many streams that are going to be played. In our case, it's going to be two. Stream type will be audio manager dot stream music. Again, what uh, according to what you pass here, the same way your sound will behave. So SRC quality is never implemented. So we can just pass zero here and it won't affect anything. Now let's load the sounds. Sound one equals sound pool dot load. The first parameter is the context and the second is the resource ID of the sound file. In our case, it is r dot raw dot sound one, and last parameter is the priority. We'll pass one. Then we have sound two. Let's load that as well. Now these integers will be used to play our sound. Now let's have a reference to the button in our layout file. Sound one, sound two. So if button one is pressed, then we will play sound one. This is done by calling the play method in the sound pool object. First parameter is the sound ID. Here it's sound one. 
left volume will be 1, right volume 1, priority will be 1, will set it on loop, no, and the rate, what is this rate? Well, this rate defines the frequency of your sound. So if you set it to 0.5F, then the frequency will be half of the original frequency. If you set it to 2, then it will be double the frequency of the original file. Now when the button 2 is clicked, then we will play the second sound. Now if we set this priority to 0, then this sound will not play until the first sound stops playing. And if we set the priority to 1, then if any other sound is being played, then that will stop and this sound will start playing. So for testing purpose, we will set it to 0. And now we can test our app. Click on sound 1. You can hear it play. Now if you play sound 1, then immediately click on sound 2, then you will not be able to hear sound 2. You can text this here. And if you play sound 2, and then click on sound 1, then you can hear sound 2 stop and sound 1 start playing. Okay, so this is it. If you like this video then give this a like, subscribe to the channel and comment how you liked it.